The Browns continue to make some moves in free agency. First in Amari Cooper trade, and now they trade for an edge linebacker, Chase Winovich from the New England Patriots. We're going to break all that down and check out the latest trade rumors surrounding Deshaun Watson because there's been an interesting turn of events there and a new uh, addition to the entire trade saga. But first, here is the trade. The Browns pretty straightforward. Get Chase Winovich, a uh, defensive end, edge, linebacker. Let's see where Joe Woods puts some um, more of a linebacker than a true defensive end. And the Patriots, they get Mac Wilson. This is an interesting trade because it's almost like fantasy football where someone's going to win and someone's going to lose, right? When two players play similar, almost identical-ish positions, I know Wilson's more of an off-ball linebacker and Winovich is more of an edge rusher, but still, someone's going to come out ahead. But neither of these two guys had great 2021 season. So I think both franchises thought, you know what? Maybe a change of scenery can help both parties out. You look at their 2021 stats, and I see a lot of donuts on there. Neither player was all that productive. But I think the Browns come out ahead of this. Because what Winovich did in his first two seasons, and by the way, he's only entering year four in the NFL, he was very good for the New England Patriots. 11 sacks, 22 QB hits. He got off to a blazing hot start for New England after coming out in the third round from Michigan and it was one of the best players for the Patriots defense in that time span. So with that in mind, who do you think won the trade? A good metric I like to use and one I used to start today when I walked into work was I asked our Patriots guy here, Jack, what do you think of the trade? And in half a second, his facial reaction told me the Browns won this trade. Right, he did not excited about losing Chase Winovich and maybe a bit of a, by the way, replacement for Clowney. He's not a true defensive end, but I like this move. But on the other hand, it's always scary when you make a trade with the Patriots because you're dealing with sort of the evil genius in Bill Belichick. And it makes you wonder if Belichick's moving on from a player, what does he know that we don't know, right? Well, let's face facts. Belichick's the greatest coach in NFL history, so... He's not going to move on from players that he thinks are done. Now, he has made some mistakes, like Chandler Jones, probably not a good decision to let him leave and go to Arizona. Uh, Jamie Collins, I don't know if that was a great decision by New England, but he ended up going back there anyway. And another Patriots-Browns trade, too. However, the good news, I think, is, well, one of the good news is Winovich is pumped. This is always a good sight to see. Look what he tweeted out, and didn't come over that well, but... He's super excited to be coming to the Cleveland Browns. So a lot of brown hearts and orange hearts there. Um, but overall, great move, I think, for the Browns. I like this pickup a lot. And my boss at Chat Sports is a big Michigan guy. And if uh, you don't remember, Winovich went to Michigan. I know we got a bunch of Buckeye fans here, of course. And they had that revenge tour back in 2017. Didn't end well that year for Winovich and his team. But maybe it ends better this time, right, with the Browns and Going through the AFC East, and now he can hopefully just continue to be the Grim Reaper through the NFC, uh, AFC North. So hopefully the Revenge Tour goes better part two than it did at the end of part one, at least for our sake this time. And if you're a Buckeye fan, you liked how it ended because Ohio State kicked Michigan's ass. Next up on today's Browns report, though. Browns are having a meeting with Deshaun Watson. Yeah, I was told there was no possibility of a trade yesterday. Maybe that window and that door has creaked open a little bit. So Mary Kay tweeted this out, woke up to this this morning, saying the meeting between the Browns and Deshaun Watson is later this afternoon in Houston. We got a meeting. He will also be in court today answering questions under oath. Initial rumblings that Baker Mayfield won't be a part of the trade package to Texas. So three things to take away from there. There's a meeting. We have to discuss the legal aspect of Deshaun Watson and trading for him. Baker Mayfield may have a three-team trade now because the Texans don't want him, so you got to send him somewhere else. Let me ask this question, though. Do you want a Watson trade to happen, right, right off the bat? Is this something you'd want to see the Browns go out and do? You want to Sean Watson in Cleveland next season? Why for yes and for no? Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. Baker not being included to a trade to the Texans, Makes it very interesting, all right? We've got a loyal watch of the show, uh, Dion Owens, who always tweets, uh, always replies with the three team trades. Dion, do your thing, dude, because if the Texans don't want Baker, well, then the Browns have to send Baker somewhere else. So now you got to find a third team that would, it's like an NBA trade, 
All right, producer Jeff's an NBA guy. He's also a grass fairy. But you don't really see three-team trades in the NFL. We'd have to find another party that would take on Baker Mayfield because the Browns aren't going to pay Baker $18 million to be the backup for Deshaun Watson. So, Owens, if you're watching this like you usually are, give me your best three-team trade for Baker Mayfield and Deshaun Watson and another team that would want a QB. We'll get to the rest of the Deshaun Watson saga in just a second, but free agency is in day two now, and if you want the latest Browns news throughout all of free agency, go ahead, hit that big red button, and subscribe. That way you can stay in the know, you never miss a thing, and you're caught up to date on the latest Browns news and rumors throughout all of NFL free agency. I'm going to make a tiny pitch here to Deshaun Watson. Hopefully he's watching. I know he's a loyal subscriber, of course of why maybe Cleveland would make better sense than it would on paper or just at the surface level. One, the Browns, I think, are the top offensive line in the NFL. And they paid a lot of money and a lot of extensions last season to keep it intact. Then you've got Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb as your running back duo. That's a lot of good things for a Watson team that, by the way, remember they traded his best friend DeAndre Hopkins for David Johnson? They never had that consistent run game in Houston. Always a lot of pressure on him to throw it. 40 to 50 times. You don't have to do that in Cleveland. And you can still throw it 35, 40 times, but you can still have a great running back duo to support him. And finally, Amari Cooper. You can draft a wide receiver with the 13th overall pick. And then you've got Donovan Peoples-Jones coming up. Anthony Schwartz from last year. There's a lot of fun pieces for him to work with. The Browns on paper, or maybe I, I, I'm not a, I, on paper it made more sense than just at the surface level of going to the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, no thanks. Now, there are reports that the Panthers and Saints are the leaders in the clubhouse to get Deshaun Watson. I saw one interesting story that he may want to go to Carolina because he wants to finish up his collegiate uh, you know, classes and graduate from Clemson, not too far from where they play in Charlotte. And then the Saints are an NFC team, and it sounds like the Texans may want to go that route. And also the Saints, well... You know, they need a quarterback, and they would be able to offer up a lot to get a quarterback. We'll look at those two teams in just a second. But first, if you guys have not followed us over at Rumble, go ahead and do so. Rumble is a new rising video platform that's uncensored. It gets you the all the news, sports, politics you want, and also an opportunity to continue to support us here. So follow us at rumble.com slash Browns Report. Here at Chat Sports, we have a handful of teams under our umbrella. And the Browns Report, it has the second most followers at Rumbles, only behind the Chiefs. So if you're still salty from week one, go ahead, follow us at uh, rumble.com slash Browns Report. It's in the li uh, links in the comments and the description, and we'll catch up to the Chiefs report here. Now, the Texans are reportedly only wanting to trade to Deshaun Watson to the NFC. In fact, I actually saw the funniest thing yesterday. It was that the Colts wanted to uh, engage in trade talks for Watson, and I think they were just trolling the Texans because the Texans were not going to trade him within the division but AFC may be out of bounds for the uh, for the Texans. Now Watson I should have mentioned earlier he's got that no trade clause if you haven't heard so the Browns could come in with the best offer right five you know you can't even offer that much but five first five seconds and ten players you know and if Watson doesn't want to go to Cleveland the, the Texans can't do anything about it right they have to decline the trade it's up to Watson that's what a no trade clause does for him so Texans may be looking to send him to the Panthers or the Saints and not have him play in the AFC. Where do you think Watson's going to play in 2022, though? Right, if you had to predict it, where would it be? It's not going to be the Texans. But my boss yesterday did have an interesting take of what if the Texans go, you know what, Deshaun Watson? Even if you waive your no-trade clause for the Panthers, we're not going to trade you. So... We only want to send you to the Browns because they gave us the best offer, and the Panthers know that they can lowball us because we won't send them to the AFC. So either take the Browns' offer or you're sitting a year, back-to-back -back seasons without playing football. That's the only team we'll trade you to. Maybe I'm making this up, but it sounded kind of fun, so I'm going to roll with it. There are a lot of rumblings around the Panthers. Like I mentioned, he may want to go and finish his academic career um, within the classroom at Clemson, not far from where they play in Charlotte. And maybe he just wants to return to the Carolinas. I heard he's not interested in playing. He, by the way, is from Georgia, went to college in Clemson, went to Houston. He's played in warm weather his whole career. And apparently may not be interested in playing hard-nosed football, real football, where football was born 
in Ohio in the cold weather. It may not be something that fancies uh, his cup of tea. Then finally, how is Baker taking all of this? Right? If you're Baker Mayfield, you're, ha you're hanging out in Austin right now where he lives off season in Texas pretty much, and you're seeing that the Browns are trying to trade for Deshaun Watson, that's got to sting a little bit. And there's a decent chance they don't end up with Watson. So he's going to walk into training camp and acting like nothing happened? Right? When you're QB1, you want that love and support from your franchise. And you're not feeling it right now. And it's a business. And he has to know that and understand that if there's an opportunity for a team to upgrade, they're going to look at those options. But at least still, it's, it's got to hurt. Right? You're the first overall pick. You heard Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski sing high praises for you. Talk about how you're the quarterback for 2022. They have full confidence in you. And now there's not just some YouTubers and Twitter accounts saying we should trade for Watson. We've got a meeting between the Browns and Deshaun Watson. That's got to sting a little bit. So with that in mind, what's your confidence level in for Baker Mayfield 2022? Use it on a scale of 1 to 100. 1 being you got zero confidence, zilch 100 being you have full confidence. He's going to bounce back from that injury season. And let's not forget, he took the Browns to the playoffs, won a playoff game in Pittsburgh. Let me know what your confidence level is down below. Free agency, a lot of stuff going on here, so make sure you are subscribed to stay in the know all week long.